Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Caleb and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to pair a, a PS4 controller to your computer so you can play games on Steam. And in my instance, it's going to be 7 Days to Die. So, first what you're going to want to do is go to the search bar right here next to the, the Windows icon and click here and type in control panel and click on the app now look up Bluetooth in the corner box over there alright and then don't enter it but see right here where it says devices and printers click add a Bluetooth device now it's gonna be searching for a Bluetooth device and a um, PS4 controller is a Bluetooth device so now what you're gonna to want to do with your PS4 controller is hold the share button for about three seconds and then hold the home button until a light starts blinking this shows that the PS4 controller is in pair mode and that's where the Bluetooth is connecting and now this should show up right here and if you click on that and you say next it should pair and it's gonna go through some of the drivers that it's got to install. All right, now if you look at your PS4 controller, it should have a light that stays on. Now that means your controller is officially paired to the PC. But in order to use this PS4 controller with PS4, or sorry, with Steam, is you want to close out of the control panel and e enter um, big picture mode. What? Why? Okay. Yeah. And it's going to do like a weird little animation. Alright, so now that you're in the big picture menu, you should be able to use your controller. I'm just using it one handed right now because I'm holding my phone. And go to settings. And controller settings. And so I think I've already done this, so it's, it, for you, this won't be checked, and you want to have that checked. Um, that way, Steam knows what type of controller you're using, and that way it will do the right type of button configuration for every game that you play on Steam. So just check that box, and you can do a quick little um, if you go down to right here where it says detected controllers you go right there where it says P PlayStation 4 controller and you go to the right and you go to Calrate it's gonna have you do a, a series of uh, tests for your controller and you can say start full auto calibration and it will tell you first left joystick to a side and go push a different direction each time you have 10 presses remaining and so I'll go left center down center down. and as I'm doing this you can see the presses go away okay now once you've done the left joystick you can do the right joystick so, same as before, go to the right, let it go to the center, down, 
center, up, let go, left, let go, and same as before, it, the presses go down. Now that you've done those two, it will s say start the calibration and place the controller on a stable surface and level surface within 5 seconds. And since mine is already on a stable surface, it's okay. And now it's detecting whatever dead zone is. And it's calibrating it. Okay, now once those things are all complete, it will say calibration completed. And then you can exit out of that with your PlayStation controller. And then go back. And now, you should be able to play any game on your Steam library. So, go to library. And for me, I'm going to play 7 Days to Die. Click on play. Okay, now, with the game started up, you can control the main menu with your joystick, and then I'm just going to go to continue game, and click on that, and to start. Okay, now that I'm in my game, you can see that I'm using my PlayStation controller. Well, you can't really see it since I'm kind of holding the camera at the same time. But if you can hear that, that's me looking around with the, the joysticks and I'm walking around too. So, yeah, all the buttons work perfectly. You can jump, you can square for your inventory and you can see all of the uh, options in the top left corner too so all right everybody i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe it will help some people thank you and see you later